You are very welcome to our morning prayer today. Um, I am Janet Audu, a daughter of the Holy Spirit from Oblate Retreat Center with Sistine Hall in Crew. Let us quieten ourselves as we begin our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our loving Father, we thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. We thank you for your goodness and blessings over us. Thank you for your great love and care. Thank you for your sacrifice that we might have freedom and life. Forgive us for when we do not thank you enough for who you are, for all you do, for all you have given us, and when we do not extend your goodness to others. Help us to set our eyes and our hearts on you afresh. Renew our spirit and fill us with your peace and joy, for we need you today and every day. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we shall listen to the Gospel reading of today from St. Luke chapter 10, verse 25 to 37. There was a lawyer who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this, and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of brigands. They took all he had, beat him, and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be traveling down the same road. But when he saw the man, he passed by the other side. In the same way, a Levite who came to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. He then lifted him onto his own mount, carried him to the inn and looked after him. Next day, he took out two denarii and handed him to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back, I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbor to the man who fell into the brigand's hands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. Jesus said to him, Go and do the same yourself. The Gospel of today invites us to reflect on our Christian journey, especially in relation to our neighbor. When you hear the word neighbor, what comes to your mind? Who comes to your mind?
Have you ever been able to assist someone and you didn't? What was your reason? Do you see yourself in the priest, the Levite, or the Good Samaritan? Through the story of the Good Samaritan, Jesus reminds us that our neighbor is anyone in need, regardless of their culture, the risk and the sacrifice it takes to support them. It doesn't matter if we do not have any relationship or connection with them. Everyone we meet is our neighbor and our relationship with them is to be built on love, compassion, care, kindness and support. Sometimes during our busy lives and the reality of the society we find ourselves, we might be tempted to pass by the other side, to ignore, to have reasons like the Levite and the priest, not to give a second look, not to support our neighbor whom we meet in the shop, on the train, in the office, at the park, on the roadside, in the town or city center. Today Jesus reminds us that our journey towards him, who is the eternal life, is a call to see him in those around us, to go beyond ourselves, to make sacrifices and to be present to those around us. Sometimes on our journey through life, we are like the man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, beaten up by the realities of life, overwhelmed by our own life experiences that challenges our faith, and in need of a neighbor in our helpless state. We are encouraged and reminded today that God will always come through for us and perhaps through a neighbor we do not expect. We would always need the grace of God to do all the good we need to do. And so in union with the church, as she celebrates the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary today, we are reminded of the treasure we have in Mary, the Mother of God who constantly support us in our journey to her son through the praying of the rosary, through our devotion to the Holy Rosary, may we find the grace to be compassionate to those we meet every day of our life. Amen. We turn to Mary our mother, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and as they are of our death. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant to beseech thee that meditating on these mysteries in the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.